Hey, what's up? So, I got your problem here written in black. They told you that you had two points, 2, 8, and 28, and in between them there were three cycles. Well, that means that there's going to be three minimums. You can think about if there was one cycle, there would be one minimum. So if there's three cycles, there's three minimums. They told you the y-coordinate of the minimum was negative 4. They didn't give you the x-coordinate, though. But the first thing that you can do is what I did here in black. You can find the distance of three cycles and divide by 3. Well, that's 18, 20 minus the 2. And if you do 18 divided by 3, you get 6, so the period is 6. Well, it looks like a cosine that was shifted over, so I'm just going to plug into my general form for a cosine. I'm going to find the b value first, um, now that I've got the period. So I just use 2 pi over t is equal to b, so 2 pi over 6 is equal to pi over 3, so that's our b, so I plug that in right there. And then if I want to find the horizontal shift, well, it's just being shifted over by 2 to the right, so I have to put minus 2. Uh, the amplitude is 8 minus negative 4 over 2, that comes out to 6. And then the vertical shift you can figure out by matching up the max after the shift versus the max that you would normally have if you had an amplitude of 6. In fact, if we normally had an amplitude of 6, then we would have something that goes between 6 and negative 6. But here it looks like everything was shifted up by 2. So you can just do the maximum after the shift being 8 minus the maximum that you would normally have of 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2, so D is 2. Okay, so we got our formula right here, and you can double check it by using a nice graphing calculator that I found, desmos.com. And I've already plugged that in for you. So it's 6 cosine of pi over 3 times x minus 2 plus 2. Now I'm going to turn that one off, and I'm going to turn this second one on. This one is 6 sine of pi over 2 minus the same exact argument for the cosine, and then plus 2. Actually, before I do that, let me just point out that the points on the cosine, 2, 8, and 28, are there. And we also have 5, negative 4. So we actually know that x-coordinate. We don't even need that. But let me go back to the sine one, which is exactly the same. In fact, I can turn them on. You'll see that they uh, match up right on top of one another. Okay, and the reason why they're both the same is because of the formula that cosine of theta is always equal to sine of 90 minus theta. So I took exactly the same equation that I had at the top, and I rewrote it with a sine by just changing the angle or the argument into 90 minus the argument. Well, that's not 90 though, since we're dealing with radians, it's pi over 2. So you can also put pi over 2 minus theta instead of theta, as long as you switch the cosine to a sine. Now, it turns out it actually works the other way around too, in case you ever wanted to go from a sine to a cosine, that formula is also valid.